Denmark has a new king, King Frederick X, and his beautiful wife, who was Princess Mary, who's now Queen Mary of Denmark. They have a beautiful family with four children, and just one week into their monarchy, they had their first church service and had a public meet and greet at our house cathedral. This is just one week after they stood on the balcony, greeting hundreds of thousands of people from all over the world to cheer them on in taking the position as new king and queen, especially since Princess Mary, who now is Queen Mary, is from Australia. Australia. King Frederick had been waiting a long time. He is 55 years old. His mother, Queen Margareta, served as a monarch in Denmark for more than 50 years and surprised everybody with a New Year's announcement of abdicating. With just two weeks notice, many people were speculating that this was maybe because of a rumored and alleged affair that Frederick had in October of 2023. But Queen Margareta did say that her health was a little questionable and why not hand off off the monarchy to your son who had been waiting so long and be available to mentor him. So it was a beautiful ceremony last week. So the couple has four teenagers, Crown Prince Christian, who's 18, Princess Isabella, who is 16, and the twins who are Prince Vincent and Princess Josephine, who just turned 13. Queen Margareta is 83 years old, and she was also at the changing of the throne service with them, and she was relaxed and happy in this beautiful purple dress along with her family as her son was going through this change of throne service. So Queen Margareta was queen for over 52 years. Now Queen Mary, who is very stylish, was dressed in this beautiful purple and she had a dress coat with a navy blue shawl, navy leather gloves, and a purple pillbox hat. She wore her beautiful brunette hair in loose curls and then she wore this, these beautiful drop diamond earrings. For the actual ceremony, she wore jewelry that had been inherited to her husband, King Frederick, by his grandmother and the jewelry had a long history going back to Napoleon Bonaparte when Desiree Clary wore the ensemble for his coronation. Princess Josephine wore this beautiful pink pastel coat and she was well behaved. We're going to talk about her in a second. How she, Princess Josephine, you could call her the Danish version of Prince Louis for those of you who know Louis's antics when he is on the balcony or with his parents. So she wore this beautiful pink coat. Her sister, her older sister, Princess Isabella, wore a pale blue. And the king and queen's sons both wore navy blue suits. Now there is the celebratory service which is led by the royal chaplain and ordinary and bishop of the diocese of our house. Queen Margareta's younger sister, Princess Benedictine of Denmark is 79 and she was also there with a purple theme and a violet cape which also matched her pillbox hat. And then the streets of our house were decorated in beautiful red and white flags honoring the Danish flag and there were many royal fans in attendance. Now the king himself was decked out in this full military regalia. He always looks very handsome and comfortable wearing his military garb. And of course, Mary walked a few steps behind her husband, the king. Very exciting news is that there are new portraits of the royal family of Denmark that were just released on the Danish family's Instagram page. The beautiful portraits featured the king and queen, in full regalia alongside the couple's elegantly dressed four children. And they were photographed inside Royal Christian Borg Palace in Copenhagen. And it looks like they were wearing the same clothes from the actual crowning of the king on January 14th. There are pictures of the couple. The photographer was Dennis Stenil, and he took these pictures, these family pictures, just before they came out onto the balcony to have their pictures taken, which makes sense because, you know, being out there in the balcony in the winter, you know, hair could be blown all over the place with the snow snow or the dampness so it was very smart of him to take the pictures before and everybody loved queen mary's white caped frock that she had on the typical princess high-heeled nude pumps beautiful pictures of the entire family by the way if you like this jewelry please check out the link this is fine fashion jewelry by park lane and i have a link and depending on how you buy things you can get these items 50 percent off or even get very expensive items for as low as 30 dollars click through if you buy more than two items at full price, it can even be a $20 item. You will get the next four items half price. And if you spend $90, you can even buy an item that is $200 for $30. So 
And then there was this resurfaced interview that was revealed how Queen Mary almost never met King Frederick at all when he was the prince. She said, I almost didn't go that evening. She said the taxi showed up and she was like, oh, all right, at the last minute she got in. So she almost missed meeting her prince. This was an interview that went on in 2004, it was recently published. They had a fairy tale romance, which was so beautiful and how they met and were married. She in Australia, he in Denmark. Crown Prince Christian is so tall he, he towers over his father who he's not done growing. And the fact that he has the Crown Prince of Denmark title and he's only 18 years old means that he is the only single royal with that type of status in all of Europe, meaning that he will be quite the catch in high society. But let's talk a little bit about Princess Josephine and how she was a little bit misbehaved. People even more so now are comparing her to Prince Louis in the UK, who whenever he gets on the balcony, he just steals the show. Of course, he is much younger. He's five years old and she is 13. But there's a history of her just t stealing the show. And when she stepped out onto the balcony during this event, it was pretty hilarious with her older brother saying, hey, you need to chill out. But she was shouting hooray with all of the people. At one point, it looked like she wasn't even going to let go of the king or allow him into the center spot on the balcony. The parents did first come out and then she came out and she embraced her dad on one side, barely letting go. When she did let go, she was mugging with these pretty funny facial expressions to the crowd. When they were shouting hooray, she was all about that. And then she made really funny facial expressions as she waved both hands in enthusiasm, which basically moved her whole body. It wasn't the typical princess wave. It was more like, it was more like a wild wave to some of your girlfriends in middle school. So then the crown prince, who knows all about royal protocol, Christian, sort of gently tapped his youngest sister on the back, signaling for her to tone it down. This has been the same with Prince Louis, who has gone all out. All of that being said, the Danish princesses and princes, all of Europe is going to have a really good time photographing these kids, whether they are behaved or whether they are models. In fact, King Frederick's nephew, Count Nikolai, who was known at one point as a prince until Queen Margareta stripped them of their titles, is quite the model, very tall, very handsome. So this family has a history of being able to steal the show on the runways or on the cover of magazines. We will be keeping our eyes open, but the Royal Family of Denmark with King Frederick and Queen Mary are off to an amazing start. Keep your eye on Princess Josephine as she grows up. Let's see if she remains the Royal Rebel. It seems like every family has one. And we will be keeping an eye on the goings on of Queen Mary, her fashion style, King Frederick, and we will make note to make sure we know where they are at all times and hopefully their marriage is solid and together and we are thrilled about that. Please subscribe for Hot for History where we get to share royal news and history that I bet your history teachers would never dare to teach you.